it is time to review all the ways in which the media covered themselves in glory this week. Um, let's start with our friend Chuck Todd with an interesting question about the Biden campaign this saga. Is a, this is a hilarious one. Uh, re- to be fair, resistance people pick this up, uh, but I think it's hilarious. It's legit. By, uh, Chuck Todd was interviewing a Democratic strategist on MSNBC, and he was like, are they taking COVID too seriously? And it's not a joke. Mr. Contrarian. Yeah. So it's interesting. When you look at both candidates, in some ways, um, one, not taking the virus seriously enough at all, and one, if there's a criticism, might be, is he taking it too seriously, at least when it comes to campaigning? And Crystal, this is the funny thing. I know, actually, ironically, I think some right-wingers would agree with Chuck Todd's question. But look, (laughs) if you look at the polling, people are overwhelmingly supportive of Biden's decision not to hold in-person rallies. They are overwhelmingly supportive of, like, mask wearing, social distancing. They are generally okay with the economic situation that we have right now, as long as Congress is going to bail them out. Like, they see it quite clearly as we do, which is that there need to be some restrictions in our da- normal daily life and that it's Congress's job in order to make up that economic deficit. They don't blame Biden for wanting to continue these types of policies. They just want Congress to make it up on their front end. Not only that, but for Biden, it's like the greatest gift to have oh, an excuse yeah, totally. to not have to do giant yeah. rallies, which he probably <laughs> would not be able to attract, yes. to not have to do all that much in the way of yeah. appearances, television appearances, whatever, that can be very taxing for him. So um, not only is it like the right public health thing in terms of not creating super spreader events, as some of some of Trump campaign's rally have fueled some outbreaks in those states, But also, it's the right political strategy, and it's working. No one is. This election is not about Joe Biden. That's just. It's just not. It's not at all. It's It's about about Donald Trump Trump. and Trump. Yeah. Democratic voters and a lot of independents are voting against Donald Trump, and a lot of people on the other side are voting for Donald Trump. They have successfully made it a referendum on Donald Trump and his governance and leadership during the coronavirus crisis, and I think that is exactly the landscape that they want to be on right now. I mean, I always go back to Alex Wagner right after Joe Biden. (laughs) Yeah. Got the nomination, and she's just like, stay alive, Since Joe Biden. She literally wrote, stay alive, Joe. That was and the headline uh, of the article, and yeah. that's it. That was the best strategy, yeah. and it has worked flawlessly for him. He's in great position. He might win in a landslide by doing, like, next to nothing. So it's been not only the right public health thing, but the right political strategy. Yeah, it certainly has been. It's just been funny to see you know, that <laughs> Chuck would ask that question, but really just— I think the media doesn't really get where the public is on coronavirus. It's not that, you know, it, it's not even politicized necessarily. Mm. It's just, It cuts across all partisan lines. They're like, we want somebody to just take it seriously. Um, and it's not, you know, you can't take it too seriously. Yeah. I think, I think it's also just like some people have this, this contrarian bone in their body mm-hmm. where no matter what it is, they want to go like the opposite and ask the opposite question like yes. it's really smart and clever. <laughs> but sometimes doing that leads you to a really stupid and silly place. Well, that's Chuck Todd. That's MSNBC. (laughs) All right. More rising for you later today.